Hello, dear ones. I'm sitting here on a very windy day in the shelter of a big juniper tree that was the type of tree that's sacred to the Native Americans. And I can see the juniper berries on the floor of the forest underneath the tree and little shreds of juniper bark with uh, yellow lichen on them. They're very colorful. And all the birds have been coming by. <laughs> I saw one bird that was kind of bright yellow. It was a small bright yellow bird. I don't know what it was. It was beautiful. And it was singing and carrying on. It was great. <laughs> it's so windy. I hope you can hear. So sitting here in the shade of the sacred juniper tree reminds me of two visions I had, uh, Native American visions. And I'll tell you about each of them and what they meant to me very briefly. Once I was hiking in the Cuyamaca Wilderness in Southern California, and as I turned to, re to retrace my steps back towards the, f the road, <laughs> I saw I was walking uh, higher up than a creek. And on the other side of the creek was like a little trail, a deer trail, and all around were um, live oaks, California live oaks, very beautiful. And um, there running along the, the deer path, I saw uh, in a vision a Native American child about eight years old, a boy running, uh, very lively running uh, quickly along the trail. And uh, I couldn't tell, he, he was kind of transparent and so I guess maybe he was a sh shade, you know. I, I waver on that. Maybe he was a ghost. And sometimes I think maybe it was me a long time ago, you know. And um, the thing I got from that is he was so at one with the, the forest floor, the, the leaves of the oak tree on the forest floor. He was running it was as if he were part of the oak trees in the water, but in human form, you know? I was very happy to see a, a child so at one with everything around him. And then he sort of faded out and disappeared. And that was my first vision. <laughs> and the other vision I had was of an Indian, an older Indian brave, sitting with a blanket wrapped around him. Um, on the eastern, near the eastern edge of a mesa in the southwest. And he was, this person I could tell was me for sure in a past life. And he was sitting uh, watching a red sun uh, rising or setting off in the distance. And he was feeling and knowing that it was his time to pass. And the thing that was so amazing to me about that vision and that memory is the, uh, the complete uh, like acceptance of, of such a great change, this change we call death or passing. Such an amazing uh, settledness about it, such, uh, such courage and such strength of character unwavering understanding that it that death is just a part of life and that without any regrets at all he was watching and knowing and understanding the cycle of life you know it that memory has stood me in good stead over the years and especially now that so many things are changing because of ascension I, I remember how brave I was once <laughs> and it helps me to be more courageous now these are only two of many stories I have about past lifetimes, but they're some of the happiest ones. So, see y'all later.